G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to today's session on document sets or folders on steroids as we like to call them. And today we're gonna to focus on two things. Uh, first of all, we're going to add uh, some metadata to the document set itself. And then we're also going to set and create a, uh, a specific view for inside of a document set as opposed to the top level of the library itself, okay? So just to recap on the previous session, we took a look at how we actually enable the ability for us to use document sets. Uh, so it's a feature that we need to enable at the site collection level. Then we need to add that content type because a document set is uh, actually a content type. So we need to add that to to the document library for us to be able to utilize a document set. So all of, the, all of that is being done and set up uh, and now we're gonna take it uh, to the next level and have a look at metadata and also some custom views. So let's have a look uh, at how we go about adding metadata to our document set. So we can see here that I have already got a document library. I've got a document set inside of this or added to the document library and I've got the default uh, metadata here of modified and modified by and you can also see that I've got a custom uh, column here that's called due date all right now when I go inside of this document library you can see when I click inside I've got some documents in here now I've also got this due date column is actually uh, added to these documents as well now that's what we call a shared column. So we're going to take a look at the settings uh, of this document set and have a look at, at what that shared column looks like uh, and where we turn that on and how we can enable that shared column and then create a custom view. So you can see on the right hand side, we've actually got the properties and what let's just call this a landing page for our, um, or our a welcome screen, let's say for our uh, document set. And we can see we've got the properties of our document set on the right hand side here. So how do we go about adding some metadata? So first of all, we're gonna create what we call a site column. So let's go into the site information and we will go to all site settings. And then let's just put in a single site column here and let's call this, uh, we'll call it project status, okay? So because these document sets are going to be used for um, combining or collecting all of the relevant documents related to a specific project, all right? So let's call this project status. And for our case, we are just going to use a choice column. It could be a meta a managed metadata column or something like that if we wanna use that across different site collections. But in our case, we're going to be specific and just create a site column here. So we're gonna choose a choice column. Uh, let's create a new group and let's call this uh, project um, columns. And let's just give uh, three options here. So let's go new, let's go um, active, and let's go completed. All right, so let's actually change this to uh, not started. All right, so not started, active, and completed. So we click OK, and now we've created a site column. So what we wanna do is we wanna add this site column now to our document set. So I'm gonna go back into site settings and then let's go to site content types, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we are going to look at our document set, all right? So let's search for uh, document set and click on document set and let's add a new site column. So you can see here that that due date isn't actually a site column, right? It's been added specifically to that library, all right? But this one here is a site column, which means we can reuse this content type across different libraries in, the, in our case, okay, across the site. So we're going to add from existing uh, site columns and we will look for our group which we've created called project columns and we've got our project status and let's click uh, and select that and we will save that and we are now good to go. So we've got title, name, description, project status. So if we now jump back into the library itself, so what we might do is let's go to documents and let's have a look at what we've now got. So if I select our document set here, 
click on information, what we should see is we should see now a status. So you can see on the right hand side, we've got our status not started, active or completed. So let's select not started, that's saving, and that column has now been set uh, to not started. But we want to show that column at this level, so at the document set level. All right, so let's show this at this particular level. So we'll show and hide columns. Let's have a look for project status and we will apply. Okay, so now we've got our, uh, our project status showing in our view. But what we've also got is inside of this, we've now also got that project status column appearing uh, inside of the document, inside of the document set and I in uh, in this view of our documents, okay? So what we wanna do is we don't really need this document status um, column in uh, associated to all of our documents, all right? So we are going to create a different view of uh, in this library here that doesn't include our project status, all right? So let's just jump back up into documents and we're going to create a new view, all right? So uh, let's call this, um, we'll just call it inside, um, inside document set, okay? So we'll call this inside document set. It is a list, it is public, and let's click create. Okay, so we've now got this view inside document set. Let's show and hide a column because we want to hide this project status. Okay, so let's turn this off and we'll hit apply and we'll save and this document set's automatically been saved. Okay, so if we need to double check, let's just go inside document set, we'll save it. And now we've got two views. So we've got all documents, um, which when we flick over, We'll have, let's just refresh this. Sometimes it, it goes a little bit funky. So let's go to all documents and we've got the project status there. And then when we flick to inside document set, we've got no project status, okay? But how do we make that available? Um, so the all documents view available at the top level, which is here. And then when we click inside a document set, we select uh, our different view, okay? So how do we go about doing that? Let's go back up to what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to library settings and we're going to go to more library settings and then inside of our document set, so we're gonna select this content type here and then we are going to go to document set settings. So inside of document set settings, this allows us to also select our shared columns. So remembering that we had that due date column uh, that appears at the top level of the document set and also is associated to all of the documents that are inside of that document set. So that's where we do this. Now we don't want our project status to be a shared column. Okay, we only want that appearing at the top. So we'll leave that unchecked. Now you can see here that we've got a welcome page view. So we can see that we can select a view used to display the contents of the document set, okay? So I am going to set this view to inside document set and we're going to click okay, all right? So once we've clicked okay, that now takes effect. We're going to click back into documents and you can see um, here, when we go to in, let's just select all documents. Let's make sure that this is the default and we'll set this, uh, make sure that this is the default view, which it should be. Uh, save view as, we've got all documents. We're good to go with that. So here's our all documents. Now, when we click inside of this document set, what we should see here is that we've got this different view, which doesn't include that project status, okay? But when we click back into documents, we will see that we've got the all documents view as the default view. So we've got basically two different views, one at the top level of the library, which is all documents. And then inside of this document set, we have a different, and you can see that the view has changed here. We've got inside document set that's set there, all right? So 
a great way to be able to have different views because there are, um, you know, metadata, especially in this example, where we're using this as a project type of document set is there's information and metadata that associate that we want associated to the project itself, but not inside of uh, to those specific documents. So being able to have different views of the document set level as opposed to inside of the document set is a really uh, valuable thing to be able to, uh, to do. All right, so that's all we're going to uh, touch on today is the creation, the addition of adding metadata to the document set and then also being able to create different views of the document set itself.